pounds taking on Marcus Johnson and it is Ward who in tonight will be in the red corner undefeated his godfather Virgil Hunter in his corner Andre out of Oakland California 19 years of age taking on Marcus Johnson from Killeen Texas James Johnson his father in his corner Andre Ward, very skilled fighter, very good puncher. You can't get careless with this guy. You got to come out and be defensive a little bit. And make sure you don't get hurt. Andre Ward, very good puncher. Scott may be a tough question, but at what point for an athlete does the winning streak become a bit of a distraction for a guy like Ward who hasn't lost in so long? Well, you know, for him, he has so many fights that. He doesn't even know about the streak sometimes. I think he's, he's just thinking about fighting and doing what he has to do. I don't think you think about the streak until after the fight's over. Surely before you're thinking, well, I could have won this many, won that many. But for him, he is so focused on what he's doing in that ring that it doesn't matter. Now you see him switching over to his southpaw style. Now he's back to the right. And today I saw an interesting thing. I saw him sign something with the left hand. So he is a southpaw. You boxers watch those kind of things. Yes, we do. And I watch him signing papers with the left hand. So that left jab he's got, when he's orthodox, has got to be power. You see that snap the head back with that left jab? That's a very strong left hand. But he seems to do very well with his right hand. I had a good left hook, but I could never turn south. Just couldn't get those feet moving or just didn't want to change? You know, I just... Uh, I think I was just slow. <laughs> <laughs> These young men are so fast, so experienced. The talent they have, the years they put in, the hours they put in, it's just been so impressive. People have no idea about the sacrifice. Ward looks like he is directing this first round, but you know what? Marcus Johnson is, is slipping in some uh, scoring punches here, Scott. Exactly. Andre Ward's got to stay focused, keep that left hand going. Another sneaky little punch got in there for Marcus Johnson. So we're all tied up here, Scott. End of round one, 3-3. Three, three. Let's take a look at some other bouts that took place tonight. The featherweights, and it's Mickey Bay Jr. versus Brandon Rios. Mickey Bay throwing straight right hands down the shoot, right through the, look at that right hand. Unbelievable, Brandon Rios could stay up from that. Can you see another right hand? Mickey Bay right from the shoulder. Mickey Bay now for the super heavyweights, and it's a good one, and it's a rematch. Jason Estrada and Mike Wilson. Jason Estrada has done a nice job here tonight. You watch him here with his, his combination. Snap him with that little left jab, upper jab, I call it. It's like a Philadelphia jab. He nailed him with that right on the button. Jason has shot a pretty sharp puncher when he wants to be. And the winner of this head super heavyweight contest in the red corner, Jason Estrada. Jason Estrada. We've got a real close contest here right now. Andre Ward, tie game. I'll tell you what, he's landing and getting hit with some shots too. This fight's give and take right now. Andre Ward and Marcus Johnson. Johnson in the blue, Ward in the red. Hey! Scott, I, I, I am impressed with all these young men, their confidence, their poise, their articulate. Our team is in good hands. Very good hands. And Marcus Johnson hey! just landed a clean right hand. Yes, he did. I'll tell you something, Andre Ward has got not a cheap date here tonight. He's going to have to really fight here to pull this one out. Well, he just evened up the points here, but uh, Johnson was just up 5-4. I'm wondering when the last time Ward was actually behind on points. I think it's probably been a while. It's probably been a while. He has lost for a long time. But he's got a guy right now who thinks he can win and wants to end that streak. Marcus Johnson doing a nice job in here, making this fight very competitive. And isn't that half the battle? Knowing you can do it. Believing you can do it. Believing you can do it. The thing about the headgear on Marcus Johnson, I think he has a hard time seeing it's down so low. I can't believe they, they would, you know, it'd be difficult to, to see. Neither one scoring a point here in the last 25, 30 seconds. 
working at each other. Such a give and take battle that they're not giving anybody any points. Marcus Johnson doing a nice job in there. Scott, I think you bring up a good point. They may have to adjust that headgear here in, uh, in the corner for Marcus Johnson at the end of this round. I don't know how he can see. I, it's been very difficult to see. I would want that headgear up a little bit so I can see a little bit. Andre Ward throwing a nice right hander, but he didn't, didn't get, it, get it in there clean. Still a low, low scoring fight here after two rounds, six to five for Andre Ward. We'll be back with more action from the U.S. Olympic team box offs. Oh, about that? Hi, I'm Tiki Barber, University of Virginia class of 1997, and you're watching CSTV, college sports television. It's very important to protect your relationship between you and your sport because that's who I am right now. You know, I'm, I'm an Olympic athlete, and uh, you just got to stay focused on that. Every morning you wake up, know that your opponents are out there working hard. They want the same thing you do, and it's a matter of who's going to work the hardest and who's going to do it when it counts. If you do take shortcuts, it'll creep up to you, and eventually it will control your game. I have to focus gather everything I've learned, all my successes, all my sacrifices, all my pain, and concentrate that energy into one moment. Ah! That's a moment I'll use every single day of my life. There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Student athletes have always played a prominent role in Olympic history. Some have gone on to become legends. CSTV's U.S. Olympic Pursuit, the first year-round television series to provide dedicated coverage to all 39 Olympic sports, showcasing America's future Olympic champions. College Sports Television's U.S. Olympic Pursuit, where the pursuit of the gold begins. Listening in to his corner, when you tell a young fighter this is for the Olympics, do you need to say any more? No, no, I don't think so. Especially when you got a young man as gutsy as him and strong, who likes to fire right hands, and is not afraid of his the record that he's fighting against. These two guys are teenagers as well, Scott, which is amazing. I know. Andre Ward doing a nice job. But getting trapped on the ropes here, that's where he doesn't want to be. Marcus Johnson wants him there on the rope. He wants to be able to hit him on the ropes. Andre Ward cannot get on those ropes. When he gets to those, that's where Marcus Johnson can land his punches and get freebies. Ward connected on that last exchange. I think Johnson's confidence, it seems to me, is raising a bit here. Yes, it is. He's believing in himself. He landed some shots. Oh, and Johnson goes down. Ward is sent to his corner. He's going to get an eight count. Minute left here in the third. He was off balance with that punch. He didn't get knocked down. I think he got, he got hit with a punch and was falling back as it was. I don't think it was a clean knockdown, but it was a knockdown. The thing about a knockdown, it's only worth one yep, point. Yep. It's only worth one point. Right now, the score is only eight to seven. And the one point was a knockdown. But Marcus Johnson knows he wasn't getting knocked down. He knows he got he was off balance. So now he says, hey, I gotta come back and whack this guy a little bit more. Might be the best thing for him. Motivate him a little bit. Andre Ward knows he's in a good fight. Get Referee is giving a warning to both of the boxers here in round number three. Not the I, most popular he, decision with the crowd. I think he took points away. I think he took now, it was just a warning. Boy, the hands of Ward are fast. Sometimes the referees get involved too much. I mean, we need, we need to let the fight go on here. This is taking time away from the fight. Who cares about his T-shirt? Get it between rounds. That's when you stop it.
Marcus Johnson has to let his hands go when he gets close. He cannot let Andre Ward fire first. He's got to be first. One swing too many, perhaps, for Ward there at the end of round number three. It is 12 to 9 for Ward out of the red corner. Scott, let's take another look at uh, Johnson going down here round three. I thought Johnson was a little bit off balance when he got knocked down. See that right foot, left foot up? Yep. I don't think he was, you know, it wasn't a clean knockdown, but it was, it was technically a knockdown. If you watch him, he was just not on balance. Scorecard through three, 12-9. Johnson hanging in there, he's got a chance. Andre Ward knows this has not been an easy night for him. He's had a good fight from this young man. This guy knows he's behind, knows what he's got to do to win. He's coming out very aggressively. A fight like this, the referee does not want to get involved too much. Just give a command and get out of the way. Exactly. Andre Ward has been around this game long enough. He knows he wants to punch first, and that's the key that he's doing here. Marcus Johnson has got to let his hands go. He cannot let this go on. Andre Ward does not, does, cannot be allowed to be first and punch his way. Marcus Johnson's got to let those hands go. He can't be so defensive. He cannot get close if he's not throwing punches. He has yet to score this round, and so Ward's starting to pull away a bit. Yep. Marcus Johnson just has, right now, does not have the skill level that Andre Ward has right now. He's got some punching power, but Andre Ward knows what he's doing in there, has the experience, knows how to win. Marcus Johnson has not figured that part out. It cannot, Marcus is trying to do it with one punch. That is not gonna happen. Not against a guy of this ability. Close the gap to four, has Johnson, but he's got under a minute to catch up. Ward, all this experience, all this talent, knows how close the fight is. And he's going to continue to work in there. See that headgear giving him trouble now. Can't see. Pushing his headgear up, trying to see. When you got headgear problem, equipment problem, it takes your mind off what you're supposed to be doing in there. I blame that on the corner. Time running out here for Marcus Johnson and his dream of headed to Athens and the Olympics. And perhaps what is most impressive, Scott, about Andre Ward is I don't think we saw him at his best tonight, but he's going to walk away with the win here. The key to success is here. They say with great fighters, when it's not their night, they find a way to win. Andre Ward did that tonight. It wasn't his night. You could tell he wasn't sharp. You could tell he wasn't on his game. But he knew how to gut it out, how to score points, and not let